Definitely when I was swimming the first semester, it was like, ah, oh, shit. Especially during like midterms and exam season where, you know, you're pulling maybe an all nighter. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> I know there's like many programmers that sleep very last each night. I try to make that consistent, but that's like temporary until I figure out life a bit more. Like this last week, I've been sleeping like three hours. What year are you and what do you study? I'm a senior here at Princeton and I study computer science. How much do you sleep per night? Probably like four to five hours a night, but that's like temporary until I figure out life a bit more and then hopefully I'll get that up to like eight or nine. Has right it always now, been this way? I sleep a lot during the summer. Okay. Um, but the beginning of the semester is always pretty hectic because you're doing classes and recruiting and uh, I run a couple clubs on campus and also wanting to like work out and socialize. There's a lot going on, so. And I'm okay with four or five hours of sleep. Probably not long term, but short term it's fine. And I'm a first year graduate student at NYU Quran Study Information System. I know there's like many programmers that sleep very last each night, but for me, I just try to keep adequate, like fun and sleep time for myself to function for the next day. So yeah. I normally sleep seven hour and a half or seven hours okay. per night, yeah. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. I'm a second year and I, I'm studying applied psychology and computer science. I'm a second year as well and I'm studying computer science and data science. How much sleep do you get per night? <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> An average of like five. I want to say like five. Yeah. That's being generous, like, I feel like. But below yeah. six. Yeah. Below six? Yeah. Wow. Is it just the piece that's so hard? It's like, it's not only CS, mm -hmm. but like a lot of. Yeah. other stuff. For me, like coming into like college and then starting like computer science, I have like a completely like blank portfolio. Yeah. So like yeah. while I'm like catching up with classes and like I'm also doing a psych major, so it's sure. like writing and like a bunch of like memorizing and then like and on the other end it's like a bunch of coding and then like at the same time like I'm trying to like recruit and like, yeah. like build my yeah, portfolio. Recruit. And I feel like I want to add like healthy habits like going to the gym and stuff like that. Sure. So it's like so you got to drop. I feel like you got to drop one <laughs> to like make the others work. And also like a lot of us for the clubs and mm -hmm. I'm working for a nonprofit outside of school so that takes up a lot of time as well. I'm currently in the class of 2024 and I study operations features which is similar to like applied math and statistics. How many hours of sleep do you get per night? I am happy to say that I get about seven to eight hours and it's taken a little bit of effort but I try to make that consistent and boy does it make me feel better. Has it been about the same all four years you've been here? Uh, definitely not the first one or two, but I made a conscious effort to change that. What was it, the first one or two? Probably like six to seven, okay. sometimes maybe a little lower for those all-nighters. I'm a sophomore and I'm studying ORF, which is applied math. How much do you sleep per night? I think a good amount. Like last night I got nine hours. Okay. Yeah. Is that like pretty typical? Yeah, I think that's pretty typical. That's awesome. What's like, the, what's the bedtime and the wake-up time? Bedtime, usually around 12, and then if it depends on if I skip my first lecture or not. If okay. I skip my first lecture, Wake up is like 8, if not, it's 10. I'm a fourth year studying computer science and data science at NYU. Well, I'm trying to become a triathlete, so right now I'm oh. focusing, trying to get the nine hours. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> Have you ever done it before? No. Oh, just, okay, that's awesome. I'm a senior at NYU. I'm studying computer science. And then you said you're a gamer, or you enjoy video games, and then how many hours of sleep do you get per night? I try to get eight, nine hours of sleep. Right now my course load, I'm a senior, so, and I came in with AP credit, so I only have to take like three courses a semester now. So in the past, not as much, but like now I can do like eight hours. Which is nice. I'm a freshman at NYU. I'm studying at CS and math together. Okay, cool. Yeah. Yeah, I'm also a first year at NYU and I study CS. How much sleep do you get per night? Oh, shit. I, I get like six hours of sleep. Okay. But it's not mainly because CS, it's just because I just hang out a lot, <laughs> <laughs> like party and shit. But I'm probably gonna get like less and less as like my grade levels getting higher. So yeah. right nice. now, six hours. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I try to go to bed at 11.30. And then always have an 8 a.m. like every day oh, wow. for the semester, so like it's tough. It's yeah. like, and then, but I don't always go to bed at 11:30, so. Well, you, you would know. stay up till 3 a.m. for the auto grader. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> if I'm like working, then I'll be up for much longer. But I'll do my best to like sleep early. I try to get eight hours, but usually it's more like you know six-ish. If you're watching this, chances are you like to learn. So let me introduce today's sponsor, Skillshare the largest online learning community for creatives. Now, you probably already know that Skillshare has a ton of classes on photography, animation, and creative writing. But did you know it also has a bunch of resources around personal lifestyle and productivity content? Whether you wanna learn the basics of watercolor painting or learn how to start your own creative business, Skillshare has a class to take you from beginner to pro alongside a supportive community. And if you're looking to level up in your tech career or start a new side hustle, Skillshare has classes in freelancing, entrepreneurship, marketing, social media, and much more. My personal goal for 2024 is to get much better at illustration and graphic design so I can finally make these thumbnails pop. 
So I'm gonna check out the classes in Adobe Illustrator and Photoshop. Go check out Skillshare through my special link in the description, but hurry because the first 500 people will get a one month free trial. Now let's go talk to some more software engineers. I'm a third year uh, student at NYU and I'm studying computer science. Definitely when I was swimming the first semester, it was like six, five hours, but now I really do target for seven to eight. Seven to eight is like what I usually get on, on any given day because um, I do prioritize sleep. It's one of like probably top two priorities at like any part of my life. I'm a senior and I'm studying computer science. I'm a junior I'm studying computer science. I would say it really depends on the year. This year I've been sleeping like seven, eight hours, but it's varied year to year. I mean, normally, yeah, seven to eight. Like this last week, I've been sleeping like three hours, but I've been in bed for eight. I just haven't been able to sleep, which sucks. I'm a senior and I'm studying computer science and math. I try to get like eight hours. Yeah, I try to get a good amount of sleep because if I don't, then it's just not a good day afterwards. Has that been consistent your four years here? Um, no, definitely not. There have been sometimes, especially during like midterms and exam season, where you know you're pulling maybe an all nighter or something like that. Sure. But I've tried to keep it consistent. You know, like I try to keep it part of my schedule. And how long have you been growing your hair out? Um, it's been like a while. It's been a while. What's a while? I think, yeah, a year. Cause like I actually shaved it all off. So it was completely mm -hmm. bald. Okay. And then I've been growing it out now. And now I have to go in for a haircut. Yeah. Know? Cool. Thank you so much. Yeah. How was that? That was good.